More local districts go back to school this morning around the Queen City. Public school students are returning to class in Lincoln County and Cleveland County. There are also some private schools in the Queen City starting back today, including Charlotte Catholic Schools. Charlotte Prep students as well are going back today. This after a fire broke out in its lower school building, destroying it over the summer. The cause of that fire still hasn't been determined. Meanwhile, public schools in the Charlotte Mecklenburg district, they don't return for another week and a half. And as we mentioned, hundreds of kids back in class this morning. It's the first day for students in Gaston, Lincoln and Cleveland counties. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell live at North Belmont Elementary. I'm sure excited families everywhere, Savannah. Absolutely, Jason and Ann Wyatt. We've got kids already back in the classroom, already seated, getting started, meeting their new teachers. What's really nice is, as Ted was kind of mentioning, it's a little bit of a cooler morning. you got kind of a crisper air here in uh, Belmont, and so it does kind of make it for a really nice way to kick off this fall semester. We were getting to talk with some of the parents who were in their drop-off line a little bit earlier here this morning, and as they were dropping some of the kids off, they were telling us that they, a lot of them said they were really excited to get back into the swing of another year. Some tell us Though they're probably going to miss some of the quality time, of course, that they got to spend with their kids over this summer. A mom of a sixth grader and a first grader says they prepared for weeks for this first day. For the summer, we always keep like a regular routine. So we continue our workbooks and we did a lot of um, math because math is one that we seem to forget a lot over the summer, you know. And so we, um, we do a lot of brain exercises. Meanwhile, the students tell us they're excited, of course, to see their friends again and meet their new teachers, but some said they were a little bit nervous about riding the bus for the first time. Teachers are back in their classrooms, too, after spending a good part of the summer decorating them, making them all sorts of welcome for the kids this year, and they're doing so with a smaller salary than they were promised from state legislators. Coming up here in our next half hour, we'll take a look at how the stall in North Carolina's state budget is leading to those smaller salaries. Reporting live in Belmont, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.